I am Marg, welcome to Cheshire East Library's A Book I Love. Now so many people had told me about this book, Where the Crawdads Sing, that I thought I ought to give it a go. I've heard people say that this was their absolute best read of the year and actually I could see why. It's written by Delia Owens who is a retired wildlife biologist and the eye for detail that she has when she describes the flora and the fauna of the Carolina, North Carolina swamplands where this book is set is absolutely breathtaking. The main storyline follows a young girl called Kaya Clark and we meet her when she's about six years old and we follow her life through until she's about 25 and she's growing up as a sensitive and intelligent girl having been abandoned by all her family members one by one in this shack in the swamplands of North Carolina. Her only friends are the gulls whose behaviour she studies and she learns everything really from the wildlife around her. She's an outsider, she's shunned by the local community, they just refer to her as the marsh girl. She learns things like how to camouflage herself by watching the wildlife do this. So she hides from the truant officers who come and try and get her to go to the local town school. She learns to hunt fish and catch mussels and then she makes a living by selling these to the shop in the creek. As a teenager she becomes a very beautiful uh, young girl and she attracts the attention of two of the town's boys. A very kind boy called uh, Tate and then another quite posh arrogant boy called Chase and we watch how this kind of coming of age love story develops. At the beginning of the novel, we learn that a young man has died suspiciously in the swamp and we watch how these white townspeople are very bigoted towards Kaya and eventually, as you can probably guess, she is arrested and charged with the murder of one of these boys. The, ju the book jumps from sort of Kaya's early existence to the events surrounding the murder and back again but the chapters are very helpfully labelled so you always know where you are which is really good. And the latter part of the book actually is a courtroom drama, I would say about the last quarter of the book and it's a really gripping trial that Kai is involved in. There are some wonderful ah moments at the end of this book that make you go back and read certain sections of it knowing what you know now. Um, in terms of the themes, although it was written and set in about the 1950s and 60s there are some really strong modern themes that resonate today so there's things like racial and social division, loneliness, the whole ecology of that region and the reason I liked it as I mentioned at the beginning were these absolutely fabulous descriptions that took you to the swamplands of North Carolina you really felt that you'd been there with the grasses and the dampness and the birds it's absolutely breathtaking. Kaya is a particularly well-drawn character and you find yourself rooting for her very early on in the book. Um, it's kind of like a coming of age, murder mystery, with very absorbing atmospheric descriptions and I would say it's an absolute must. I hope you like it if you read it and look out for some more books that I love coming soon.